Have you ever gotten design from AI but wanted to change just a small part of it? And now you can with ChatGPT. So I'm gonna show you this new tool that I got in ChatGPT with this brush. Uh, it's like the magic brush on Canva, but it works so much better. I think in ChatGPT it's called InPaint or OutPaint. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. I've shared a few examples. I got this tool yesterday and I shared a few examples online where I changed out the people in the car, added some things. A lot of times I get this finger on ChatGPT and I just wanna remove it because it's blocking the sticker. I'm gonna show you how you can do this with the magic brush or the, the inbound in paint brush in uh, ChatGPT. So let's go to ChatGPT right now and I'll show you how it works and what different things it can do and can help you with your graphics. All right, so here we are on ChatGPT. I got ChatGPT4, I'm signed in. I could start typing here, but I like using StickerWiz, so I'm gonna do that. Here it is, StickerWiz. My ChatGPTs or my GPTs here are on the side. I'm gonna click on that. You can see I'm using StickerWiz here in ChatGPT. We're just gonna do a prompt, just a regular prompt. I'm gonna do a, a cat ninja, or let's do a dog ninja with a sword. Let's do that. Just something simple like that, and let's see what comes up. Now, it's gonna take a little while, so I'm gonna show you what happens. Um, we're, we don't have to wait in real time. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes up. All right, so here's my dog ninja um, that came up with StickerWiz. I'm gonna click on it, and you'll see that I have some tools now up here. And so this one right here is the Select Tool, I guess it's called. I thought it was called In Paint or Magic Brush, but it is like a magic brush. So let me show you. I'm gonna click on there. You can see right away, uh, you can make the brush smaller or bigger up here, and you can undo or go forward if you uh, already painted something. So let me try something out here. Um, let me do this. Let me just change his face. How about this? So let's say I like this, right? But instead of a dog, I want a cat. So I'll, I'll put this here. Uh, I'll move my face over here instead because this is where you make the selection. So you make the selection here and then you ask, tell that uh, what you want to change. Can you make this a cat instead? Now you can see it still keeps the original so you can see what uh, you start with and then it's thinking about what to change. Now everything else that's not marked will stay the same but it's gonna change everything that's in that marked area, the area that you marked here. Now this can be used for so many different things. I'm gonna show you this simple one, and it's not just new ones, so we're gonna go back and I'm gonna show you how it works on some old ones, and there you go. Um, not the best example. Uh, we can see it doesn't necessarily look like a cat, but that's okay, we can come back in here uh, and Do like this. I kind of like the black part of it. That's really cool. So I'm gonna make it bigger here. Say I want to see I want to see the cat's ears and eyes. Let's see if that does any. Now this is real time, so I'm not sure what it's gonna come out to be. So um, we'll have to see what what it does. Now the first one, it doesn't actually look like a cat. Now sometimes it does it really well, and sometimes it doesn't. But uh, let's see what it. Let's see if the prompt that I put in here actually works. Oh, there you go. So now it added the ears and the eyes and that looks so much better. So there you go. You can see it started with the dog. Now, if I wanna make this sword bigger, let's see, I can come in here and just type in the sword, just do the sword here and maybe make, make it longer like that. Um, and I'm gonna say make the sword bigger and on fire. And then let's see what it does here. Um, we could actually put a lightsaber in there or something. That would be cool. But we could change the color of the uh, of the uniform. We could change out the headband. We could change out anything that we want if we want to keep something intact. Now, if you want something totally new, then this isn't the tool for you. But if you like the base of it and just want to change some things, then I think this is the is a great tool. There you go. Now the sword is on fire. Pretty cool, right? So let's go back into some of my old ones. I'll move this over here and we'll go back and see, cause you can do this on some of the old ones too. So I'll pick one of these over here. So the first one, I'll go to this RV here. Um, 
let's see, you can see this is the one I did where I changed the, the there are too many people, and so I took out the people here. Um, you can do things like that. So you could do like this one right here. Um, I don't like this ball here, and I don't like this road trip, so I'm gonna, but everything else looks really cool, right? So I'm gonna take my select brush, and I'm gonna brush out that, and then this road sign. And you can use it for like an eraser. So remove the ball in the sky and the road sign. There you go. So let's see what it does. It's going to think about it. And it should be able to just remove stuff instead of adding stuff. Last time we tried to add stuff or change stuff. This time we're trying to just erase stuff and remove it. Let's see what happens. There you go. So you can see the circle's gone. The road side's gone. This is a much better graphic. Uh, to use for a t-shirt design because nobody's going to be like, what's that giant circle in the sky? What does that sign say? I can't even read it, right? So I could even remove the background if I wanted to, but you know, other other things can do that where it can remove the background. But I think this one is really cool where you can actually change things in the design. Okay, here's another example. I'm going to try it on this. This is, um, I get this a lot, is the fingers uh, holding the stickers. Now I don't want the finger in the sticker, but I want this sticker so I'm going to use the brush here and I'm going to brush out, hopefully brush out this finger here. And then I'm going to actually make the cups small. The cups are kind of tall. So maybe I can do a two for one where I'm just doing that. And I, I like the top here, but the bottom is uh, not working for me. So I'm going to move myself here and let's see what I can type. So you can talk to it just like you talk to someone. So I'm going to do, uh, say, remove the fingers, make the cups smaller, shorter. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, so there you go. Um, for some reason, it kept the fingers. I asked it to remove the fingers. You know, sometimes AI, you get what you get. But you can see it's not blocking the, the mug anymore. So I can actually come in here and cut this out. So. It's totally fine. Uh, if I really needed to move it again, I could, but it doesn't affect the sticker like a like it did before. So here's a before and after, and you can see now it's working. So here I'm speaking of before and after. Here are a bunch of other ones that I did. It's like this one right here, where where it changed the mice on the top of my bookshelf, or it can add a person uh, to a ATV like this one right here. Or it can remove that book. Remember that book that I didn't like uh, in one of my videos next to the coffee? It changed it like that. But it's not perfect. So sometimes it does some weird things like this one right here where it removed the hand of the cat or it just totally changed the top part of the uh, pie to not even match the bottom part of the pie. So it's still learning. It's still um, doing things like AI does, learning and growing and things. But the nice thing about this is you never lose the original. So you always will still have the original and you can do it multiple times over and over again. If it doesn't do it right the first time, you can try it again the next time and, and hopefully get a better result. So there you go. That's the new feature on ChatGPT, uh, the brush tool or the in-paint tool, whatever it's called. I think it just says select on there. So I'm not really sure, but it's like a magic brush, right? Where you can change different parts of the uh, graphic and make it something better. So if you if you have something that's almost there, I think this one is really cool, especially if you want to remove that thumb from your sticker so that you can see the full sticker. Uh, if this video is really helpful for you, let me know in the in the comments. I'll put another video right here about ChatGPT, uh, some of the different sticker or GPTs that you can use with ChatGPT. I think that would really help too. But there, ChatGPT is improving. I really like it. I've been using it a lot every day. Hopefully this, this upgrade really helps you too. So thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.